All right, just got done milking. Um, before we start work, we're gonna actually try to get this garden tilled a little bit. Uh, or not the garden, excuse me, the pumpkin patch. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get a third or fourth disc on it because we need to plant those pumpkins this week. <laughs> It's, woke, it's working limit is 100 pounds. All right. Good afternoon. We are going to try to get this cow roped and basically uh, tied up. Aiden thinks it's kind of funny. We're going to try to tie her up. We don't have a chute at this place. We can haul her, but that means I'm going to get a cattle trailer and it's just it's not worth it. And I'm scared she'll tear up my stanchion, so I don't want to put her in the stanchion. So, She's got a little infection. Uh, we have tried to do all the homeopathic things, uh, and natural things. So we got a little um, a one percent. Uh, I send the ranger a little one percent um, medicine to try to keep this little infection off of her. She got it from our, our old bull calf. Uh, we picked him up at cell barn, which was a mistake. Um, and then again, now we're paying for it. So we're going to try to get her treated, but I do not want to haul her anywhere. It's just too much work. So we're going to see what we can do. When you don't have a chute, you have a rope. I'm not a roper. I have never done rodeo, and so we're gonna see how it goes from here. All right, she did okay. She got a little mad. The first time I tried to do it, she went crazy. So then I, I let her rest for a second, and then I, I gave her a shot. You know, this is not the best way, but she's she's doing okay. She's not choking. She's got a little uh, uh, rope on her. This is actually a, a boat rope, <laughs> but she's doing good. We got her holder there. I mean, she's really only pulling against that right there, and she's actually doing good. I gave her some feed. She's already had the shot. So we're going to give her a second just to make sure she's calm, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull off her little rope. But she's doing good. Uh, but that's what's so important about making sure you take care of your animals. Like I said, if normally we could load her up, but to be honest with you, she gets more stressed up trying to load in a trailer and taking her somewhere than doing this. So we tied her up. I think she, she's done really well. We're going to let her eat, take the rope off of her, and let her go play. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do to them they love creep they don't care she's enjoying it see that little spot just right above her eye she's got a little spot we just want to make sure she's okay she's growing off to be healthy and i don't want her to have any kind of little sickness off that little spot so it's what we're treating her for we've tried everything so we're this is the last resort so uh, we'll get her she's calmed down a whole lot and just chilling eating and we're gonna get this on off of her and let her go with the other ones all right she is finished she had her little shot for the day so when you don't have a shoot and you got a rope you can do it now she's not going to be the happiest and neither is uh, any other cow but like i said uh we're going to see if they can heal her up without having to haul her to a bed or something like that so uh she's doing good we're going to go and uh disc up the other field and disc up the other pumpkins right quick just to make sure it's still looking good and uh, then we'll finish up for the day. You can see Aiden is picking the garden, getting it picked out. We just got the disc spot for the corn. We're going to try to replant corn. It's actually not too late for re, uh, Zone 8 to replant corn. So we're going to try it and see how it goes. Never planted this late. We're going to go and get this paddock ready. So we're going to take down this, this don't tell the cow fence. Put a little paddock here. You can see the stakes right here. So the base of there will be three or four paddocks right there. So we're going to rebuild this one right quick. And then we will move them in probably not tomorrow probably the next day because they're still eating a little bit of grass over there plus i let them i put a little bit more hay too just to let them uh have it to eat i had it and i hated to, to let it waste so i let them go ahead and eat it so i'm gonna leave them over there for about another day or two then we'll actually have this paddock already built and ready for them to go in all right we finished that paddock over there aiden's still picking the peas and beans we cultivated the spot for the corn so everything's going good we're going to go ahead and See, I gotta get rid of that hay that's not built up anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that to uh, the cows and finish up, even though it's not really hay season, but I got all that hay, I hate to ruin it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You can see Aiden's, he's on his fourth or fifth row of what, Aiden, 25? <laughs> what row are you on? This is actually my third row out of, I think, like six. I've got a Yeah, you got a few more. You got that one, that one, and that one left to do. Other than that, everything looks pretty done. We're getting to the end of the first corn. Like I said, I've never grown corn past this time. 
But our corn didn't do well. I mean, like we got like 15 or 20 years of corn and we should have had about a hundred so we're going to replant all the corn uh, and see if we can do it all our tomatoes are really starting to come in look how pretty this is this is one of our pink ladies it's coming in um, we've got a few more over there we got some yellows and we still got tons of green but they're all starting to come in and hopefully the next week we should have a ton of tomatoes so we got to figure out what we're going to do with them all so um, I'm also got I've got to put a bee box uh, deep on one of the hives and I'll show it it's, it's kind of it's over here on the other side of the camper let's see if we can see it hold on a second okay I don't know if you can see see the one right on the end here I've got to put a box on it they're pretty heavy there I'm going to use some of this hay to go ahead and give to the pigs too let them have some bedding inside their little box I built so um we're going to get that done too Wayne got the garden picked you see it's getting really dark really quick we've had uh, a lot of thunder and lightning uh, so I'm gonna try to go and get Elsa our milk cow back in leave the others out for the day uh, try to eat the rest of that hay but it's getting real dark here you see it's pretty all the way over there right above us is a little troublesome so Aiden finished that up we finished the temporary paddock here on this side we still got the fake fencing up guarding this, the other paddock here and we'll get it ready soon and it's starting to rain on me now but I uh, hope you enjoyed this video we will catch you on the next time happy homesteading y'all